This is thermoscientific high performa single use fermenter. This is the first kind of a, a single use fermenter on the market, which is purpose built, especially for the microbial organisms. So the microorganisms like bacteria and yeast cells that we grow in this are much different from the mammalian cell culture. So this needs a lot of vigorous mixing. It needs a lot of oxygen. We have some very specific features in this that will help in growing the cells. We have a different kind of hesitation system here with rust and turbine impellers. There are three of the impellers, and then we have a disc sparger at the bottom, drilled hole sparger. So that gives a lot of air and hence oxygen to the cells. So we can either put air or we can put an oxygen or we can put a mixture of both. That depends on the oxygen demand for the cells, and that helps in basically growing the cells in a much better way compared to any other environment. Since this needs a rigorous mixing, we have a baffles in this, and when the bag goes and sits like this, so it provides a good amount of disturbance, and then it creates a good amount of mixing. And if you look at that side, that's part of the exhaust management system. So you have the gases going out from there, and then it gets into the condenser. There, all the moisture that is carried along with the gases is condensed, and the liquid can be pumped back into the fermenter, and then you have the dry gases going out through the exhaust filter. These bacterial cells are yeast cells, so they produce a lot of heat. So it is important to make sure that always the temperature is maintained. So you have the jacket all around, and then you have the jacket at the bottom of the tank also. That makes efficient cooling. And second thing is, because of the, the positioning of the impellers, we can handle five to one turndown ratio. That means we can handle almost about one fifth of the volume. In a 300 liters, we can go down to 60 liters, and a 30 liter, we can go down to six liter volume. Those are the important things that help the customers start with the lower volume and then go up to the larger volume. And another parameter is power to volume ratio. So we have the motor which is delivering the power for the mixing per unit volume. We have to keep all these parameters constant as we scale up the process so that when we work on a smaller scale, we can predict the performance at the larger scale. And that is what is critical for the whole scale up. As of now, we have released 30 liters and 300 liters into the market. And then depending on the response, we are looking at even larger sizes. You can go to thermoscientific.com slash bioproduction, where you have all the information related to this. And you have a video that you can learn from. And you have all the product features that you can look into.